So, as the title of this video suggests, we're going to take a look at a couple of anti-mod chip oddities on the Sony PlayStation. I've talked about anti-mod chip before on playing backup and import games on the Sony PlayStation, where essentially some games, if the machine detects that you've got a mod chip installed whilst the game is in the process of loading up, it will halt and you'll get a lovely screen basically telling you that your console has been modified, therefore the game can't continue to load up. Now I showed you Dino Crisis, the Japanese version, and you can see here I've got it marked up as anti-mod chip with a star on there. But what's odd is our PAL version of the game, of Dino Crisis, does not have any anti-mod chip protection in it whatsoever. So this game boots normally on a console that doesn't have a stealth mod chip installed. It just has like a bog standard mod chip inside it, which I thought was very, very strange. There were some other examples listed. I've posted the listing here of anti-mod chip games. And some of those examples that I've tried as well, the PAL versions of those games, the, the games boot fine. The games boot absolutely fine on a PAL PlayStation with a mod chip installed that isn't a stealth mod chip. But I found another oddity along the way. I've actually found a PAL PlayStation game that does have anti-mod chip in it. But it's very, very strange. It's very, very odd in terms of its execution, I think. So I'll reveal what that game is. Some of you guys may know this already, so this might not be new information. So apologies if it's not. But as you can see, Um Jamalami. This is my burned copy of the PAL version of Um Jamalami. You can see I put PAL anti-mod chip there. This game is essentially a music rhythm game. It's basically the sequel, I believe, to Parappa the Rapper. It's made by the same people, and it's really, really awesome. It's a good, fun game. So I thought I'd burn this and give this a try. And I tried it on my 1002 that doesn't have a stealth mod chip installed. Lo and behold, the game wouldn't boot. But, as you can see from this footage that's now rolling, it's really, really strange. Because it appears that they've taken the Japanese version of Um Jamalami, obviously done whatever tweaks they need to to get it to run on a PAL machine. It's even got the correct PAL region code, etc. But the anti-mod chip screen is in Japanese. The anti-mod chip screen that you can see now is in Japanese. Apologies for the CRT flicker. There isn't a great deal I can do. Unfortunately, one of the downsides about trying to capture footage using my XRGB Frame Meister is that when this PlayStation changes video modes, which it does, the Frame Meister loses sync and you end up with a black screen. So you wouldn't have seen any of the intro screens and it would have just taken ages with a black screen or a blue screen. And then you'd have seen the anti-mod chip screen just jump up from nowhere. I wanted to show you basically me booting this disc up and what happens. But yeah, a bit of an oddity, that one. So this game does contain anti-mod chip, but it's in Japanese, which I find very, very strange. I'm going to try some more games further down the line to see whether there's any others that might have some strange issues or whether any of them actually have English anti-mod chip text. And of course, I'll report back because I'm interested in all this kind of stuff. And I know that some people are as well. So guys, hope you found this little oddity interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.